Hello everyone and welcome to Hucklow's Lockdown Assembly. We're in week five of lockdown now and I know we're all missing each other so I thought these assemblies would be a great way um, that can, we can share some of the great things we're doing in our home learning while we're apart from each other. Um, it's a bit strange for me if I'm honest because I'm recording myself um, doing this assembly um, without you in front of me so I'm not looking at all the smiles on your faces um, and I can't wait till we're all back together um, and I hope that's going to be soon um, but we don't know at the moment how long it's going to be um, the DfE the Department for Education and the government have told us um, that when they know they'll give us plenty of notice so we can start preparing for our time back in school together so each week I'm going to be doing a lockdown assembly and the purpose of that, as I've just said, is to celebrate successes of the things that you're doing at home. Um, so in assembly today I'm going to talk to you about our core value teamwork, um, which is what we would be looking at this term if we were at school. So I still want to celebrate our core value champions. Um, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. I'm going to be sharing some of the great home learning that you've been doing um, over the last few weeks. And also, I've got some messages from staff because um, they're missing you too. So we'll have a look at those towards the end of the assembly. I'm feeling really proud of you all at the moment. And when I say all, I mean you, boys and girls, but also your mums, your dads, your carers and the rest of your family because... Um, it's a big change um, learning from home and it's something that we've all um, had to get used to and sometimes change isn't always easy so well done everybody as I said I feel so proud of you all for all the great things that you're doing during this difficult time you know we hear about the word coronavirus a lot on the news uh, which is called COVID-19 that's that's the name for this virus because it's a new virus it's unknown um, can make people poorly but our bodies are amazing things and most people will be fine some people do get more poorly and they will need hospital treatment and that is why the government has asked us the nation as one big team to come together and do these few things um, and as it says now you can read on the screen they've asked us to stay at home um, only go outside for food for health reasons or work um, or if we need to, for our daily exercise because we can go outside with our family to do our daily exercise that might be a walk it might be a bike ride but they've also asked us if we do go out to stay two meters away from other people at all times um, and that's people that we don't live with so we're keeping each other safe and saving lives and the third thing they've asked us to do is to wash our hands as soon as we get home and I talked about washing our hands a lot before school closed. I wonder who can remember how long you need to wash your hands for to make sure you get rid of those germs that could be on your hands. Yeah that's right it's 20 seconds and to help you remember how long 20 seconds right. is the government suggested you could sing the song happy birthday twice whilst you were washing your hands to make sure you're getting rid of all those germs and doing all those things together as a team um, across the nation we're fighting the coronavirus. If you want to find out more about the coronavirus or you've got any questions um, that you want to find, find the answer to there's a great information book for children called coronavirus and it's free to download there is a link to this on our website so please check that out teamwork is our core value this half term and as you'll see on the screen now if you're showing good teamwork it's someone who values themselves and others as part of a team understanding that everyone has something to contribute I want you to think about how you could be a good team player and show good teamwork when you're at home. Think about how you can get involved um, and do things with your family, maybe helping out at home. Um, if your mum, dad, carers, brothers or sisters ask you to, you could be helping out with jobs around the house, keeping your bedroom tidy, helping your brothers and sisters to keep their bedroom tidy. Think about how you could share some ideas um, 
are things that you can do together. It could be um, doing some baking together, doing some painting, helping each other with learning, playing games. The list is endless. And what I want to do in this assembly, thinking about our core value champion, um, we won't be able to do the hot chocolate on Friday, but I can, on a Friday, in this assembly, give a shout out for those of you that have shown that you're a great team player and shown great teamwork at home this week. If they can't email, then when you have that weekly phone call with your teacher, your parents may want to nominate you on that call. Your teachers will let me know. So I'm looking forward to seeing next week who our first core value champions are for teamwork. Learning from home um, takes a bit of getting used to. It's change, it's something new and it's not always easy. And what I found has really helped me at home with my little boys having that routine and structure to the day. Um, so getting up at normal time, as we would if we were going to school, um, doing a bit of English work, maybe for 40 minutes, and then some maths, can have a little break in between and then try and plan in to your day um, some active lessons. It could be the Joe Wicks PE lesson, it could be your daily exercise when you go out for a walk with your family or on your bikes. Um, try and build in an art or craft activity or some baking, something additional you can do. Some of the art things we've been doing at home and I know and you'll see this when you look at the home learning. Um, this is a rainbow that my little boy painted, but I know some of you have been creating, been really creative actually, with rainbows that you've made. And the purpose of these rainbows, you've probably seen them out a lot in um, windows of houses as you've been out for a walk. Um, and the reason they, they symbolize hope and symbolize the appreciation that we've all got for the great work that the NHS, doctors and nurses and other key workers are doing at the moment. Again, we're all coming together as a team to fight the coronavirus. Really good. So send them in to your teachers. Let's have a look um, at the great things you've been doing in your at home. Um, over the Easter period, some of you decorated Easter bonnets. I know a lot of you have done baking. Um, there's lots of artwork that you've shared with us. So let's have a look at all the great things you've been doing at home and really celebrating your successes. Well done, everyone. enjoyed looking at that as much as I did um, some really great things going on there and I can't wait to see what you're going to be doing over the next week just one other shout out I have to do and that's to Victor who is top of the league table in TT Rockstars timetable Rockstars at the moment so well done Victor keep that up who knows will you be there next week or are some others of you out there trying to be competitive um, and beat Victor to that top, top spot I know Malik is not far behind you, so we'll have to see what happens next week, but well done to you two. Before we move on to looking at the messages from staff at Hucklow, I just want to remind you about the website or anything else about your learning. Remember, you can always email, get your parent to email your teacher. The emails are on the screen now. Um, or during that weekly phone call when your teacher phones you, 
you can ask your teacher if there's anything you're struggling with about your learning. Got some messages from staff at Hucklow now, so have a look at these and enjoy. the end of our assembly today um, just to remind you make sure you're doing great teamwork this week be a really good team player get your parents to nominate you it might be something you say to your teacher and they feel like you need a nomination so I'm looking forward to finding out who our core value champions are next week I'm looking forward to seeing all the great home learning you're going to be doing over the next week and I think I'm going to set you a challenge as well because I'm going to have a go at this this week. I'm going to try and sketch and I need to put some, my artwork is something I have to keep practicing at to get better. I'm going to have a go at sketching. Um, I've got a beautiful cherry tree in my garden that's just got blossom on it. I'm going to have a go at sketching that um, and I would like you to have a go at sketching something, an object in your home or in your garden that you can share with me and I can share with everybody else doing assembly next week. So three things there, be a great team player, do some great teamwork, get that nomination, show me, share with your teachers your great home learning and have a go at that sketching activity so we can share some of those things next week as well. Have a great, great week everyone, take care, stay safe, save lives, 